Uh, I use the term Western Zen to mean the Zen that is developing in the Americas, North America, South America, and Europe. Um, now, I also know, I shouldn't say I know, my feeling is that the way it's developing in Europe is different than the way it's developing in North America, but basically it's a, it feels to me quite similar. Maybe the time path is a little different. I think things are developing in North America a little faster than both Europe and South America. Uh, it used to be, I used to think there was about a five-year gap, and five years' time you see things that were happening, but now it's less than that. Um, um, the, um, I'm not sure about uh, Europe, but one of the big characteristics in, in uh, North America is uh, uh, what I would call melting pot Buddhism. There is, it would be hard to find a Zen teacher that hasn't studied in a different type of Buddhism. And certainly in a different religion. In the West, uh, you, it, it would be hard to find a Zen teacher that hasn't also studied different forms of Buddhism, maybe Tibetan Buddhism, maybe Vipassana. Um, also, the Vipassana teachers have studied Zen, they've studied... The, there's a lot of intermingling of, of types of training and study. Uh, in Europe, I think that's not as common yet, but I would say within five years, that'll be very common, that there's a lot of intermingling. Uh, that's very different than Asia. Asia, each country had its own kind of forms, and then within a particular country, you wouldn't find very many people in Japan studying Tibetan Buddhism, but they did have Shingon, which is Tantric Buddhism. But Shingon Buddhists wouldn't necessarily study in uh, the other. There were some teachers that crossed boundaries and, and became criticized for that. In North America, it's very common. Nobody's criticized for studying different ways. So we will have a, a big mixture of techniques. And Europe, uh, we see that to some extent, and uh, there'll be more of that, I think. But I, when I say Western, I tend to mean um, North America, South America, and Europe.